Hey guys, how's it going? Ghost Rich here today, and today we're going to be removing the airbags from this car. The reason why is they deployed. So what we will be doing is first taking out the steering wheel one. Uh, again, something to keep in mind is when replacing the airbags, you also need to replace the module or get it recharged. Harley, one second. And after we do that, um, the reason why is if you don't, uh, it might set them off again. So you would need the, either the module recharged or a new module. And then being VW, probably have to program the module. So things to consider before you tackle this. But I would highly suggest that uh, if you don't have a shop to do so, if you get the airbags and stuff, not to power up the modules or anything like that until you actually get someone to reset or recharge the module. Otherwise, it could blow your airbags again. First thing you're going to want to do too, I didn't mention this, but I'll post it here. Take your battery off. T25, go into the hole right here. You'll see it. And if you feel around for the T25, you will find it. There it is. After you loosen it, you'll know because it'll just drop down. And then from there, flick this. And then now we need to separate the two clamshell pieces like so. After you've pulled your battery, put your key, obviously not to the starting position, but to the on. Once you've put it onto the on position, you'll turn your steering wheel sideways like so. If you have some plastic panel poppers, and if you don't, you're going to love to have these, so you should go buy them. They're super cheap. They're at like Princess Auto, anywhere else, uh, like five bucks for a bunch. So you grab it, you shove it in between the steering wheel, and just pry down like this, and that's what made it separate. You literally just do this, and you have to force it, and then after that, now that side's free. This side should be free. And then now, you just make sure that handle's still flipped down, and you're good. You'll see that there's a Torx right here. Or actually, no, that's an Allen key, cool. So there's an Allen key on this side, and chances are, if there's one on that side, and there it is, there's one on this side as well. So take both those Allen key bolts out so our bottom shroud comes down. So when you're prying it up, the top pops up. You can probably pull it just out of the way after you telescope the steering wheel out of the way like that pull this out of the way actually flip it up like that so that way you don't have to take the rubber out if you take a look right here you can see that uh, after both screws came out we just lifted it around you'll see there's even this key cylinder plastic piece put that off to the side and from there we are free so now leave your steering wheel like this for a sec and we We'll probably put our key back in to get our full rotations around. So if you want, go ahead and do that. What we're doing, if you feel behind your steering wheel when it's up like this, there's a little clip here. It's hard for me to show you. Let's see if I can. Where Tariq's sticking the screwdriver is a, if you look back there, you'll see that there is a crevasse that you're sticking your screwdriver in. And then, yeah, it seems a little farther forward. Do we have to do both sides at once? Oh, oh let's lock this in. Yeah. I'll grab it by the airbag. <laughs> Maybe two at once. I'll pull this out so you guys can see what we're doing. So see how there's this right here, how there's a little bit of a hook on it? Well, what you're doing is this little bar is around the hook. So you're using the flat blade to push the hook down or push it down so you can pull the airbag out. Pretty easy, right? So it's much easier to show you this way because then you can see what you're doing behind the steering wheel. You're literally just grabbing this and then bending these or bending it down with the screwdriver. So it's hooked on here, if you can imagine and you're bending it down off of the hook so you can slip it out. We actually got one out and then the whole thing slipped out. So, pretty good that way. Once it's set like this, all you do is you slip out the black clip, pretty easy ducktail right there. Squeeze the ducktail down, slide out. As for this one, grab the clear tab with your fingers and pull back on it. 
or well, it's a white tab. But when you pull back on it, it lets go. And look at that. The big cluster ball's out. And then now, technically, again, power out, but you'd plug it in here. And then after you plug it in there, you'd slip your new airbag in. Now, the one thing is about slipping the new airbag in and all that other fun stuff, um, make sure you get that module recharged. Because if you don't, that's when you're going to run into problems. And yeah, that's the last thing you want to do is run into problems. Especially if you fire it up and the first time you fire it up, it punches you in the face. So now replace the airbag with your new one.